All right, let me get the practice patchy up. So this is 10 desires. You know what this is. This is this is me, and this is you, and this is Raymu. See? I'll believe. Keep it on the hush. Don't let anyone know. Pep secret. We'll see if it actually happens. Because, you know, if it doesn't happen, then egg on my face, right? But if it does happen, then it's... You'll know when it happens, because I'll be playing it. Alright, chat. So, as you know, last time I played, I lost nine continues. I lost nine continues right away. Which is really good. So now I'm going to... Uh, hold on. I'm going to rank three for Reimu. And we're gonna start and we're gonna see what's going on in stage three. Stage three, stage portion, first half. Everything seems good, power at full. All right. BGM F7. All right, so the first thing that happens in the stage is Ghosty Goose. All right, maybe I speed killed him. Whoa, okay, no, they explode into revenge bullets. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Maybe, maybe I just fire from over here. You know what? That's perfectly fine. Let's back this up a little bit. Let's back that up a little bit. What? What did I just do? Alright. I can get about half a spear from that. So you die first, then you die. Then you die. And then you die. And you die. You die. Dodge. I wonder if there's a better- hold on. Orb fairies, you can kill the first two and leave the ones on the right alive. No one will spawn, you can stay on the left to kill the problematic fairies in the next section. Really? Let me try that. Wow. Okay, it seems like those are the ones that have the life pieces and the bomb pieces, so I want... I want those guys. Okay. So... Hold on. I don't know what my transmitter is going to be at from after Kyoko, but how do I get, how do I ensure I get maximum trance for that part? How, what's the best way to get maximum trance for that part?
I don't have enough. Hmm. I just don't know how much I'd have, but I can't get two full bars. I can't get two full bars from uh, from that part. But I feel like I should be able to get a trance from that, right? Hmm. You can trance... Okay. Hold on. So let me let me try this. Let me try this then. Okay, so at what point, uh, at what point should I trance during Kogasa's attack? What, I have 10 seconds, right? How much time should I have left before I do it? Because obviously if I get hit, that fucks the whole operation up. But I could bomb, I could bomb. But also if I take too long on the spell card, won't the fairies not show up? Or if I don't take long enough because I bomb, the fairies won't show up right away either, right? What exactly is the play here, the best method of movement to work this uh, problem out? Hmm. She has a non first, doesn't she? Hmm. Alright. Oh no, it's not a non. I mean, it is a non, it's only a non. Huh. No. Nope. Yeah, she doesn't have a spell card. Okay. So let's... Let's go back here and assume. Start of the mid-spell is not enough time. Okay. So I need to get through the... Let's assume I have max. Okay. Let's do that. Halfway to the health bar. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. it again uh so a wave or half a wave so i should do it do it after the first wave then try that
Okay, I see them. I see them. I see them. I ran at it right there, though. I think I need, uh, I need better tracing on her, uh, her attack. She always seems to go to the left. Well, that was terrible. So if I track her properly, I can take this out quickly. Get the bomb piece. Shit, dude. All right. Fitter or left, she has two or three chance to go there. Close enough. I think I need... Maybe I should use a health cue or something. Hmm. Because the speed at which I'm doing that is definitely helping. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I think I got light pieces there anyway. So, only got the life fairies there, which is kind of- that's still good. What if I just use a bomb as like a buffer? Like what if I just do that? Like what if I just shoot her? And then bomb. Okay. Okay, if I just bomb her, then I can trance some reaction to the fairies coming down. I don't have to trance in the, during the spell card. Which, I guess at that point I have a bomb to spare for it. Because let me think, the only place I'm using a bomb right now that I'm aware of is... Or I should be using a bomb. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if I kill her with a bomb, I don't have to trance during the fight. I can just trance when the fairies show up. But it costs a bomb. But a bomb is a more guaranteed because if she moves the wrong way, then I can't chase her properly. And if I can't chase her properly, I won't even get to the chance to use the trance for the fairies. And of course, if I get hit at all, I lose it because, you know, this, this is the game design. just didn't move the way she was supposed to. Stop doing that, Kogasa. left them. Forgot. I should have left them. Because I forgot that she also explodes with life pieces, so I could have tranced when she exploded. Oh. How come when you're in trance and you pause, it doesn't 
have the everlasting BGM effect. What's happening here? Oh shit, okay. Well, I'm not dead, but... Oi, oi, oi. Risky. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let me go back to... Let me go to the stage section after the boss. So here's the thing that's gonna be weird about this, is... Where it is I'm starting is gonna be different depending on how fast the boss goes. And the way that I want the boss to go means that whatever you're seeing right here is not actually gonna be a part of it. Wow. Holy shit. Now, is that a good way? <laughs> That's a good way to get trans, huh? But there's no way you'd ever be a part of that section. No, I'd be going through this. Okay, no, I want to see what the fire is doing, because that's the part I'm going to end up being uh, a part of. So these guys... Are these also fairies I should just leave alone? Or are they just gonna keep coming? I guess the question is, is it worth trying to get Trance back in this uh, second part? Because there's the ghost, there's the fireballs. So the section is these fireballs. Which, at this point I already have Trance like enabled. And I should kill these fairies. trance that actually is giving me back because I have it still enabled at full. Let me let me reduce the trance to zero because I'll have zero after that whole effect anyway. The first three waves are going to be I'm going to be in trance for so I was looking at something there. I think if I just kill the two on the right, the two, there won't be any more than the two on the left. All 
Alright, let's just leave it at that. I think. I think it's just these two that are gonna come down. Yeah, that's it. I got one full bar of that, and that's all I was able to get. I don't think that's very much. I think I would have to play kind of wacky to make trance back for that, but wacky's not what I have. Anyway. I'm too scared to get close to them, and I guess I have an over-reliance of, uh, of homing on that, so if the homie doesn't go to the right spot, then they don't break fast. Hmm. Alright, Yoshka. This is a zombie. Okay. take a little bit of getting used to because I'm not looking at her at all. Hmm. Well, I should have one trance for this. That much I've gotten down. Okay. I can get a lot to start, but I just can't be directly under her because... The yellow ones are really, really cluttered. Alright. Okay. I what what is what is what is the game plan for this one? Just restream everything. Okay, okay, okay. Ay, 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 what am I? Holy shit. Okay, poison nail. I don't know how this one works at all. To be honest, I thought it was okay there. Shotgun and stream downwards at the start for a faster kill. Let me try that. Okay, I I feel like the pattern's the same every time. But then I do it and I get hit by the second pattern. So for the first one it's always the same, 
There's this area right here in the middle that's pretty good. Well, kind of. Where's the best place to stand here? Like, once you get past the purple waves, the blue waves are actually kind of, like, not even an issue. Uh, unless you're not paying attention, of course. <laughs> unless you're not paying attention, of course. I'm gonna drop my trance to zero so I can actually keep the music loop. Okay. Hmm. Is that a pattern, dude? That's so bad. <laughs> oh. Yeesh. I'm not capping it. No, I, I, I'm not capping it. There's, there's no chance. That is, that is way scarier to try and cap than it is otherwise. Just leave it alone. Okay, so non three is uh non three is just a mess, huh? So bad. It's, t it's terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in this fucking video game. Can you wait? Hold on. What happens if you press bomb three times? What happens if I just press bomb three times? Easy clap. Easy. Look at that. Not captured, by the way, but that's fine. Because I won. I defeated it. And in the end, isn't that all I wanted? Alright, let's take it from the top. Non one. There's a big clutter in the center of her, and then she moves to the side.
Wow, that was bad. That was a poopy movement. All right, now the important question is, do I really use two bombs on Yoshka? And the answer is definitely yes, because 45 second timeout, I'm gonna touch a laser and have to bomb anyway. So I'm gonna use more bombs trying to time it out than I would using bombs to guarantee I take it down. I keep getting hit by the lasers on that one. I'd rather spend the bombs knowing I could throw it than spend the bombs trying to survive it for 45 seconds. Because I hate timeouts. I hate timeouts because you're just at the mercy of it until the clock runs down. Yeah, see, there's a chance I get clipped by a laser because I don't look at it properly. Because the way it bends is the same every time, but it's based on her position. So I'm going to I'm gonna misjudge it, and I'm going to get clipped, and it's just going to be fuck. It's just going to be an absolute... Smorgish board of a fuck. All right, let's try this again from the top, from the very top. The lasers get denser over time. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I thought it was just the red kunai that got denser, not the lasers. All right, let's see. Transmitter should be at about, at most one. It should be at most one. From Kyoko. We're gonna do this. Okay. Alright. Fucked up my start. There we go.
Oh, no. I, that was that was more my fault than anything. That, that, that third non was more my fault than anything. I, I thought I was okay, and then I, I was not. I was just, it was not a good idea. Although I, I fucked up the first one. Cause I, I thought, like, I thought I was okay. And then I, like, went to tap at a diagonal, and surprise, I'm on a control stick. So instead of getting to diagonal, I got directly to the right. And I just moved instantly into the bullet. Now that may sound like a controller, John, because it is. But it's it's what I it's what I have chosen to use. So this is what I this is what I use. But anyway, stage three looks pretty good. Stage three looks pretty good. So let's uh hmm. Let's try a little a, a real fake run. Let's try a real fake run. With what I learned so far. Alright, let me see if I remember everything that's happening here. So these guys were just Wiggle. Alright, we're not doing that. Wiggle until dead. Alright, then it was something comes next. Go this side. I thought I thought it was okay to kill everything in the center and then move to the left. Maybe I didn't move far enough to the left.
That's fine. I, I forgot what to do there. I remembered I was supposed to focus the fairies, not the fireballs, but I survived it. It's okay. Okay. Uh, what was I wanted to use my trance on? It was her penultimate, right? The one that just scatter shots. I'm pretty sure I want to keep my trance to that. Certain difficulties doing this the other side. Oh my god. So I realized, I realized I did that early because I was like, oh, I'll grab the life piece that explodes from the last spell card. And I forgot that if I just trance later in the spell card, I'll get the life piece anyway, and I won't have to come back into the thick of it. So that was my bad. I also lost a bomb piece as a result of that, but it's fine. Fuck, how does chat, how does, <laughs> how does stage two start? Oh God. Ying Yangs, where's the first one? Starts from the right, thank you. There's, there's 10 of them on the right. Now it's three, four, and five. Stay in the center. And trance when I see the fairies. I remember that.
I was supposed to have trains for that last bit. I forgot. Ah, uh, I forgot. I was supposed to build trance off those fairies and have enough to do that. Fuck. Okay. But what was it? What was it on Kyoko again? What was my plan for Kyoko? I don't remember. What was my plan for Kyoko? Start centered. Right, 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 right. Remember that. Remember that. Which one did I say I was gonna bomb? I, I there was one. There's one that I said I was definitely going to bomb, but I don't remember which one that was. Let me think. I don't think it was the last one. There was definitely one of them, though, that I was certain I wanted to bomb for consistency. It was either Yahoo or it was uh, Charged Cry. The one... I, I think it was the one with the bubble bullets. I don't remember, though. One of them was definitely giving me some grief. I think it was the bubble one. I forgot about the streaming part in the first part of this. Oh my god. <laughs> chip out. Come on, Kyoko. Chip out for me. Thank you. That was messy. Oh. That that corner shot hitting me was very unfortunate. That was the worst I've ever seen it. I just kept going up, but it didn't actually get any clearer as I went up. And then I got I got sniped. I I should probably just bomb the final. But I had used, uh, I used a bomb there in the non out of panic because I forgot what I was doing in that non entirely. I got, dude, I got hit once and I have everything fucked up. And now here I am with one and a half lives. What happened here? Hoi yo yo.
Why are those fireballs silent? because I lost it all from uh, Kyoko, so I was missing a bit. Man, one death really throws everything off, huh? Like, everything. <laughs> Hmm. No, I had a plan for Kogasa there, but it, it, I couldn't do it anymore. So it didn't really matter what I did. I just kind of accepted it. You don't get a lot of, uh, you don't get a lot of lives. You really don't get a lot of mistakes. It's kind of annoying that it's that way. Like, even... Granted, I messed up some of the routing that I've been doing, but I still only acquired, like, one extra life. Like, <laughs> that's all I've gotten so far. And I'm on Yoshka, for fuck's sakes! This is the stage three boss. I have to sneeze. Dead though. I hesitated on a better shot, waiting for a better opening, and a better opening didn't really come. so much but you know what that's that's not bad 
That's not bad. That's way better than when I first tried. When I first tried, I was already down like so many credits at this point. But that's... That, that shows... You know what that shows, chat? It shows that the practice is paying off. You know, it makes the first half of the game... It's a little, looking a little better. Still, not good enough. But it's fine. You know, it's fine. I got eight continues left. This time, surely I can get past Sage. I definitely don't know how to move these things around. by accident. Spot to be. Okay. All right. Okay. <sighs> That's the biggest issue with this game is that it's labeled easy, and it's labeled easy because of its bullet patterns. But it's often forgotten the fact that the resources is not very good in distribution. You get resources in this game by doing your routes really properly, but it's because of the way trance works. If you get hit once, you lose your entire thing. And if you lose your entire bar of trance, well, good luck building it back up to where it needs to be at any given moment. So you spend a whole stage building up your bar, getting those life pieces, then you get hit once, you're down a life, one that you cannot spare, you're down your entire trance bar, and you're not down bombs, I guess, technically, but it's just like everything falls apart. It all just crumbles into dust. It's so easy for any death anywhere to just completely throw it off. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to sit here and restart stage one because I fucked up. Why would you want to play a game that you could never leave stage one without like absolute perfection? <laughs> Sounds like a pain in the ass. <clears> hmm. <throat> LNM play. Well, you guys don't have to worry about getting lives. All right? Holy shit, why is my, my OBS keeps flickering for some reason? You guys don't have to care about getting lives if you're playing this game without the, you know, getting hit or bombing. <laughs> That's the problem I'm having right now. I feel like what this game is going to do to me is that I'm going to be spending a lot of time restarting the early stages to make sure it goes well. But then at that point, when I actually get a run that goes to the final stages, I'm not going to have nearly as much practice in it, and I'm going to panic, and then I'm gonna, it's all going to fall apart. 
That's what's gonna happen. I guarantee it. There's just so little mistakes I can make here. Unless you just, like, you know, enter the zone. You shape a run that's too big to fail. Yeah, and that's that's how it crumbles. Because runs that are too big to fail cause a crumbly foundation. And then it only takes one hit for it all to fall apart. Unless, of course, you enter the zone. Because sometimes you just enter the zone where you are, like, just the greatest player to ever do it. And you just succeed in where others would have crumbled. And then you're like, damn, I really did that. And then you watch it back and you're like, how the fuck did I do that? Like, you're looking at your own gameplay and you're experiencing imposter syndrome. <laughs> like, there's no way that's me behind the sticks right there. There's no way I was the one moving like that. It couldn't be me. Oh my god, that was definitely me behind the sticks. That one right there, that was all me, baby. Well, at this point, I don't have any, like, practice on these bosses, so I'm just kind of letting the continues run so I can at least see a little bit of what's going on. Okay. I don't like that. I don't know how to deal with that. I know what's happening prior to that, but I don't know how to deal with it as soon as it happens. Ugh. Just explode, you bitch. Dude, why are the pieces all the way at the top of the screen? Mongling Yoshika. I don't like that word. Yoshika, you're really close. Do not tongle her. Back up, Jack! Jesus! What? <laughs> what is happening? So you're so ungodly levels close to me, dude. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Thank you, Yet Multi, for the resub. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to. I can't get her to back the fuck up. <laughs> this, this is all practice for another day. This is all practice for another day. But Jesus Christ, dude. Doing? Why are you like this? Oh my god, dude. I was next to that thing. gonna go and lose it like that every time it's always some dumb shit right at the end like touches me and I just die hmm let me out of purgatory please I wish to be free of this. I should have trance right now. 
Man, if only I didn't get killed by... Honestly, fine. It's not like I'm not on continue seven or some shit. Oh. I didn't see you there. She's a ghost. She's a ghost. Ghosts are hard to see. I couldn't see her. She was just like, she, was, she wasn't there, and then she was there, and I just, you know, I didn't see her. Dude, this reminds me of that spell card from Possible Spell Card. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. I need to make better, uh... Oh, I didn't see that either. Everything like moves awkwardly. Yeesh. Whatever it is you got, I don't want it. You know what would be cool? If when you grab uh, spirits and trance your bar like goes back up so if you die you can just keep staying alive forever by injecting the spirits directly into Raymo. Don't, don't, don't even don't even try to tell me that would be broken don't even try to tell me that'd be broken this trance is already bullshit anyway but you fucking lose it if you get hit You can't use it unless it's full, and you lose the entire thing if you get hit. Just explode. I don't- I don't even fucking care, dude. Like, that- I use a bomb, I got like six bomb pieces there. I don't need any of that. I cannot dodge this. Oh, this is embarrassing. Sheesh. sake cups. She's got 80 sake cups. She's tossing at the wall and everything. Miko is going to need some new sake cups. This is going suspiciously well. Holy shit, is that a big pee? Oh, bollocks, dude. If I remember this one right, the red fireballs. <laughs> I didn't even have enough time to finish my thought. <laughs> I was gonna say the red fireballs don't spawn on you, but the yellow ones do. But while I was looking at it, I was trying to make sure that was actually the case, and well, as it happens, that was indeed the case. <laughs> Oh, it's like Greatest Treasures, but not as bad. That's what that reminds me of. You are really close. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't be down here with you. Whoa. 
What hit me? What hit me? Wait a minute. There was no amulet there. You're lying. There was no amulet. No, there was not an amulet there. <laughs> there was no amulet there. I promise you there was nothing there. I would have, I would have been, you know, I would have reacted to it. I, I would have known it was there and I wouldn't, it would not have hit me. How, I don't even know what happened, dude. I think the game bugged. I think, I think I need a new copy of the game. That's gotta be it. It's the only possibility. I need a new 10 desires right now. One that preferably works. That'd be good. Be a good start. All right, so I remember these guys. You kill the fairies and everything behind it explodes. And it's like a really good way to get trance on the final hit. But I don't even remember. I don't even know what areas I want to use trance in in the first place. So whatever. Wow. Oh. Oh, this is nice. For a stage six, this is going pretty well. This is going suspiciously well. Ah, there it is. There, yeah, there it is. I guess use it there. Maybe there's a bit. No, that was the end. What the fuck? Hmm. <clears throat> All right. The last four. I don't know when the last four show up. <laughs> I wasn't counting. I was just trying not to die. I guess as soon as I see one spit out a bomb piece, that's when I press the button, huh? That'd be a good sign for it. Or I count them manually. Hmm. Alright, Miko. Her nons are weird. Because they do this, and it's like, oh, nice. And then they do this, and it's... Not nice. Levels. Oh, yeah, this one. That was really good RNG. Wow, that was just. That was a freebie! <laughs> that is never gonna have it again! I know what to do on this one. I didn't do it right. I'm not fast enough. Maybe I shouldn't try to push all four, and maybe I should just push three of them and then wait for the fourth one. Let me practice it. I'm so slow, dude! I'm so slow! Holy shit. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Dude, what is even happening here?
You guys are having too much fun. I kept my eyes open for so long during that. Oh, power washer simulator. Oh, that was close. Oh, come on, man. What was that? What just happened to me? Okay. I I don't know how to do that one, obviously. Dude, I got I got cheated. I got cheated. I dodged the first laser and the second laser was like, how about I come directly next to you? And then I couldn't move. Ugh. Alright. But you know what? I got that uh I got that shiny Meek. So Miko's got a lot of patterns, but you know fine I'm sure I'm sure it'll be okay I'm sure someday it'll be okay oh. <laughs> you stop my continues in the back half of the game okay well there you go I got I got my Yoshka practice obviously needs to be refined and I got to at least peek at what's going on in the next stages which a little peek is better than absolutely nothing but even so, it's... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There were a few in there I felt like I had a grasp on, at least. But I need to figure out exactly what's going on with them. So that was, you know, I'll, I'll consider that a victory. Even if it wasn't a victory. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll play. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, next time I gotta practice stage four. But stage one went really well. Stage two, I fucked up. And stage three, I also fucked up in silly ways. But I have a game plan for those stages, at least. The biggest issue right now is that my game plan falls apart the moment something goes wrong. And that's not good. Because, well, everything I practice falls out the window. I don't have backups. All right? I have one choice. And <laughs> my my one choice my one choice is the, the choice that is, has to be working right from the start, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Anyway, yeah. So, good practice. I will next time I practice, it will be with stage four, and I'll slowly, I'll slowly, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of everything, and you know, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll get there when it gets there. The other ones have gotten there. I'm sure this one will follow suit. Don't worry. <laughs>